Welcome to episode 17 of Game Dev. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Tiled and actually just how to use it and set it up and stuff. That's going to be kind of a quick tutorial. Uh, but first off, if you want to download it, you can get it at mapeditor.org. There'll be a link in the description. Just click the download button and choose your platform here. And then you'll have to run the installation. And once you do finish the installation, you'll have this program right here. Uh, now, it's quite an easy interface. So what we're going to do first off is you want to hit New. And we're going to use Orthogonal View. There's also isometric and hexagonal and stuff, but we're just going to use orthogonal. Uh, the tile layer format, we're just going to use straight XML. We could use base64, but we're not actually going to do any compression on this because these levels will be small. Maybe later on we want to implement that, but for now we're just going to use XML. Uh, render order we don't really care about right now. We want the map size to be 16 by 16, so this is going to be like the, your world size for the actual level. And the tile size is going to be the size on your tile sheet, and we're just going to use 16 by 16 again. So we'll run it, and if I actually right-click this, this is like a copy function kind of. It'll replicate whatever you have in this, in this um, area. But you'll see that's the actual sprite sheet right there. I can change this color up here, change it to whatever the hell we want. We can make it black if we want. Okay. Um, so next up, what we're going to do is we're actually going to need the tile set. So you see down in the bottom right corner, you'll see this tile set panel here. Um, so we're just going to click new tile set here. You can also access this from the map function. Just click map, new tile set, same thing. Uh, but we actually need to create this tile set. So let's hop on over to Photoshop and I will show you now. So here we are in Photoshop. You can use whatever uh, like pixel editor you want. There's tons of them out there, but I'm just going to be using Photoshop because I'm familiar with it. We're just going to create file new. I'm just going to make it 256, just for the purposes of this. Uh, so we have 16 tiles by 16 tiles. I'm also just going to fill in a brush here. So this brush is just a one pixel border on the top and left side. And then it's just filled with this other pink color-ish. We're just going to create that. And I'm just going to create a basic tile set kind of here with these three, uh, just so we can set it up and actually see it in tiled. We're not actually going to be using these as our sprites, but we'll just set this up right now. Okay, so here we go. It's just a basic kind of like square-ish shape, and each tile will be one part of the square. So we're just going to save this. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. You can save it wherever you want and as whatever name you want. We'll actually set up an actual sprite sheet next episode in the actual game. So we're going to go back to tiled here and create the new tile set. We're just going to call it base. Be based on tile set image. We're gonna browse the image, click on your image, and the tile width, tile height, 16 by 16 pixels. Uh, again, just the tile sheet, how what each tile is. You can have spacing between them or padding or whatever you want. It does allow for that. So we're just gonna hit OK, and you'll see that it does load up in here in each one of these squares you can click on. And when you click on it, it'll let you select and actually choose that specific color or whatever you have in there. So we're just gonna go in here and add some some sprites into the map. And you'll see in the top right corner, this is actually our mini-map, so we can actually see what the actual level would look like. Uh, what I want to do. So there's a very basic level. We're not actually going to be using this again. This is just for uh, explanation purposes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save it. And we can save it on the desktop again, sure. Uh, but we want to save it as a JSON file. Just make sure you do that. And we're going to call it a sprite map. Okay. Now let's actually take a look at the file. So here we have our file, and you're actually going to see a bunch of crap in here, and I'm going to explain a little bit about what it is. So you'll see again, we have the width and the tile width. It's just the width of the actual uh, game, or the width of the actual level, I guess. And the tile width is the width of each tile. Uh, height's up there as well. Uh, we have a render order, which is right down, which means we render from this side, right, and then down. Uh, and tile count, how many are in the actual tile sheet tile height, tile width, all that crap about our tile sheet and where the actual name of the image is. And then we have up here the important stuff. So we have our tile layer. So this data right here is actually the actual pixel data for where the tile sheet is. So you see that we have 17, 18, 18, 18, 18. Now, what do those numbers mean? We have 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 17, 18, 18. That's actually the ID of this tile. What does that actually mean? If we take a look at this, this ID is actually going to be 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc, etc. And this one's going to be 17, 18, 19. So that's actually what those numbers represent on the tile sheet, uh, and it's just their location where they are. And this array just goes on, so what we're going to do in our game is we're going to have to loop through this data array. We're going to parse this as JSON first off, then we're going to loop through the data array and actually build the level off of that. So this is a very good way to actually create your levels because it allows you a visual interface to actually see what you're drawing, and you can add different layers and stuff to them, uh, but we're just doing the tile layer one right now. So we'll take a look at that more in depth next episode and we'll actually start creating our first basic level. We might actually just load this one in so we can look at it quickly. Quite possibly. I'll see you guys next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or need any more information about this, uh, feel free to message me or post a comment in the description. I'll take a look at it and see if I can help you guys out. Be sure to check out the Patreon if you want full access to source code and 
access me externally for any questions or anything that you need. I do have that all set up in my Patreon, so you can check that out if you guys need help. And I will see you guys next episode. Have a good day.